So this is the task for today. We're gonna go through all of these, take pictures, do videos, trying to get through all of this today. So got the setup going, we're about to go in. So these are all shoes that I haven't done videos for, some I've done. I'm gonna go through a lot of these. Uh, about to do a lot of selling, man. Sell a bunch of kicks. Oh. here with your boy Ox Pope the sneaker lord and today is gonna be like a, a, a very crazy long 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 video cuz um, first um, the collection is getting kind of big kind of very big so I'm gonna be offloading a lot of shoes I kind of totaled up everything and I'm working with about 130, 100 and, 100 and almost 40 pairs of shoes. So I'm uh, in, and at least 95 pairs are unworn. You know what I mean? So if I haven't got to those shoes yet, I might as well get them to someone that's going to put them on feet and enjoy them. ASAP. So, I'm gonna stop hoarding these shoes and get them to somebody that's gonna wear them. Would will lighten my load for me to get in the in the groove and wear my own joints. So, uh, a lot of the shoes I haven't uh, reviewed yet. So we're gonna be doing a review. We're gonna be doing like a collection video, all at the same time. So, let's let's dig into it. Let's just. Let's just get into it. There's nowhere else but to do it. Let's let's just do it. So boom. First up, size 13. You guys should know this uh this logo. These I just got uh about uh about a month now. Um my connect at uh Foot Locker hit me up. He's like, bro. You want a pair of these? So these are the uh, Kobe Grinches. Uh, I heard these are, uh, they're very sought after. I see the prices going up on them. These right now are probably around 500 bucks. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to uh, sell them right away. But uh, these are a dope pair. Uh, these are size 13. I heard they are very true to size, and I think they run a bit small. So I wish I could have got a 14 in these. So I don't know like when or if I'm going to sell these. I might have to just suffer and uh, rock them. If they're a little close, they're a little close. Hopefully they break in. But uh, these are the Kobe Grinches. I uh, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to be selling or if I'm not for right now they're here with me and uh, I like them I feel like they're dope I mean I've seen a lot of you guys uh, in the sneaker community 
uh, with these. And uh, shout out to my connect. You know who you are. I am very glad that you hit me up and uh, told me to pull up and come grab these. You know and I mean, uh, shout out to you, my guy. So we're not going to spend a lot of time uh, moving on. Jordan box. Majority of these are uh, Jordans. You see, gang. Okay. These are the Shadow the Shadow Tents. Alright, uh, these are, will they will be staying with me. Uh, these were dope. Uh, I haven't got around to wearing them yet, but I eventually will. Uh, Shadow Tents. I do like these. Half of these shoes I haven't seen in a while because they've been in the closet. So, excuse me if I uh, get a little hung up and, uh, taking a look at them. I haven't seen them in a bit, so. Alright. Uh, Jordan box, size 13. My size. Full locker receipt. Uh, Jordan 9. Uh, similar to the pair that I just showed y'all. Uh, this is size 13. Um, I have a size 14 also. So I'm going to keep the 14. And I'm probably going to let... Um, I, I'm going to let go of these nines. Right here. These nines are these nines going to get let go. Alright, so... I got the 14 for me. Keep the 14. Extra room. For locker. And I bought these... Uh, December 6th. 2020. The pair... Uh, champs bag. This came from the from the connect. You know what I mean, when he was still at champs, he's no longer at champs. He's at Foot Locker. My boy, uh, size thirteen. These are a retro five. Uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Airs, aka the Entanglement with August. Uh, these will not be letting go. I will not be letting these go. These are my personal pair. I wish I got a 14, but I got a 13, so I'm going to make it work. I'm going to make it do what it do, what it do, what it do. Uh, these are also a pair that I did not do a review on. I think I did. I think I did a pickup video. Might have done something like that, but, uh, you know, these are the uh, Bel Air 5s uh, 2.0 with the, the ghost green and the clear bottom. And the uh, multicolored 23. These I really do like. Um, I wasn't around. Uh, I was on vacation, I think, when the uh, original Bel Air fives uh, dropped. So I wasn't. I wasn't able to grab those, but I grabbed these. Like I said, these are my personal pair. I won't be selling these. Uh, it's the first time I've seen them since I copped them too. So shout out to Connect, man. Shout out to my guy. So, uh, these are size 13. Uh, regular Jordan box. I already know these are the uh, last shot 14s. These I actually did put on feet. These I actually did wear. So, these are sticking with me. You know what I mean? Last shot 14s. Hit the... Uh. So... Foot Locker. I think I already know what these are because they're still in the bag. Uh, these are probably the uh, Jordan Box. These are the Cement. Cement 3s. Uh, these are unworn. I haven't got to them yet. But I plan to. Uh, see, there's a little discoloration on the uh, hang tag. I don't know. I didn't really look at the shoes when I bought them. So I don't know if that was the original color of the uh, the hang tag. But uh, these are definitely staying with me. Most of my OG colors are staying with me. So Put this receipt in here.
so I bought these February 17, 2018. So well, these are the 2018 pair with the Nike Air on the ass. So those are definitely staying with, staying with me. Uh, Air Jordan International box, size 13. Uh, Nike receipt. So these are the International 12s. Uh, I think these were a Japan uh, inspired shoe with the like koi fish uh, ripples and a uh, design in them. Uh, I ended up catching these uh, release day. So uh, uh, these I don't know if I'm going to hold on to because I got a lot of 12s now. But these are dope. I have the uh, International 5s too. I think I missed out only on the International uh, 3s out that uh, pack or set. So these are kind of iffy so I don't know what I'm going to be doing with these. Uh, I don't know if I'm selling or keeping with those. These are Jordan Box, size 13. Uh, these are a pair of Jordan 9s. Nike receipt. Uh, these are the Dream It Do It. Uh, these not, they're not really hitting for much on uh, StockX, so I really don't know. Uh, they're actually under retail. They're about 175 bucks in my size. And I don't really know if they're going to take them with the damaged box. So these are kind of iffy. They got that baseball kind of leather. And uh, these are like a 90s inspired pair. Well, they're from the a commercial, the Dream It Do It uh, commercial kind of vibe. So these were a great pickup for me. I, I think I ended up getting them for under retail. So I might just hold on to them. Uh, I have a receipt, receipt, so I'll be able to tell you. And it doesn't have the price on it. Well, I think I did get them for under, uh, for under retail. So these are going in like the iffy stack. I don't know what, you know what I mean? I don't know if I'm going to be able to uh, set them out with the uh, damage to the box and shit. So. Plus, they're not for really hitting for much on uh, StockX, so really no matter. Jordan 1. These are your Hyper Royal 1s. I think I got these again in 2018. Uh, these are unworn. Uh, I don't know if I'm ready to part with these just yet. I'm not sure. So, but these were a great pickup for me. Uh, you know, I'm very, very, uh, in, very good with the blue, you know what I mean, I like my blue shoes, so these are size 13, Jordan 1, Hyper Royal, I'm gonna put them in the iffy stack, cause I don't know, they're here for about like 300 bucks on, uh, StockX now, so that'll be a good come up for me, uh, Jordan 1 box, uh, the next about 7 shoes are gonna be Jordan 1, uh, Foot Locker Receipt. Love for like a receipt. Ah, the shadows. So, uh, so these are the shadow ones. Uh, I bought these, I think, in 2018 too. These are not going anywhere. They will be hitting the feet. Uh, if not soon, but very soon. So these ain't going nowhere. OG joint. Shadow joint. Another Jordan 1 box, size 13. Uh, these are also from, these are also from 2018. So uh, these are the He Got Game 1s. 
uh, inspired by Lincoln High School, where uh, Jesus Shuttlesworth went to. So these are actually a double. These are actually a double. I don't know if I want to let go of my fresh pair, but we'll see. But I have another pair that I've put on feet already, and uh, they're very comfortable. Very, very, very comfortable here. And, uh, you know, I'm very partial to the ones. So, uh, we'll put that on this side. We're not going to go with the iffy with that. Another Jordan 1 box. Size 13. And these are the uh, rookie of the year ones. Uh, these are hitting for like 400 bucks in my size on StockX. So honestly, I think I might let them go. I did go through a lot to get these because they instantly sold out uh, the day of release. But I end up calling. Uh, I think I did a vlog on it too. I ended up calling the uh, Broward Foot Locker and they had a pair and the manager held me down, said that I sound like a real good person and I was going to pull up. So I did and I, I copped. So, uh, you know, on the inside there's a lot of uh, inscriptions. It says Rookie of the Year. So, yeah, but for 400 bucks, I think I, I might part with these, these, these. You know what I mean? Four hundred dollars. Get a couple bills paid. Uh, another Jordan One box. These are the Sports Illustrated. Uh, I actually might be keeping these and uh, wearing them because uh, they're not really hitting for much on StockX. I'm not sure they're not. They're not really hitting for much. So really don't want to take an L but they still might go but i really thought these were dope sports illustrated joint first cover that michael was ever on so uh i got these from uh dtlr got them on release date online Still gonna put them in the stack. They might go. Alright, we got uh another Jordan 1 box. These are size 14. Uh got these from Champs. Uh these are the Black History or Pine Green 2 3.0? 3.0 or Black History release. So I got these uh, February of 2020. So uh, I don't think these are going to go. I really did like these. The Connect held me down with these when he was still at Champs. So these pretty much are going to stay. I'm not going to get rid of these. Like those. Uh, boom. Last Jordan 1 in the stack for now. Uh, these are size 13 my size uh, these had a different label from the other ones so I really think these are the blue uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, these are the blue joints so, um, so these are uh, size 13 these I went through a lot to get these so I'm definitely not going to push these out these were kind of a favorite of mine so yeah, these are definitely going to stay with me. I'm going to look them up, though, just in case if I do decide to uh, uh, sell. Uh, I don't see a receipt, so I think I might have bought these online. I don't know if I got them from Nike or where they came from, but they're right there. Excuse me if I can get out of camera view or whatever, whatever, but... I'm here. Uh, Jordan box. Size 13. This is a retro 7. So I think these are the uh, Ray Allens. Yeah. Ray Allen PEs. Um, I got these from Nike. Probably got them on sale. So these, uh, I'm going to check them out. 
see what they're going for, but I pro more than likely they stand with me. You know, I, I like these sevens, like Air Jordan seven, sixes and sevens. Dusty box, uh, size 13, my size, uh, shoe palace receipt. Uh, these are the Orlando 10s, Orlando 10s. Uh, funny story about these. I, I think I ended up buying them for retail and, uh, they sat for a little bit, went on sale. So I end up returning my retail pair. I think I bought from like Foot Locker or whatever. And I end up buying these offline at a Shoe Palace at a discount. So I'm going to hold on to these because, you know, me and the blue, the blue rock well. So those ain't going to go. Plus, I, I don't really think they're here for that much. So I might as well just put them on feet. Uh, another... Jordan box size 13. You know, I think this is like a, another 10. Yeah. All right. So, boom. It's the uh, Seattle joints. Seattle 10s. Uh, these are unworn also, just like the Orlandos. Uh, I got these also from... I think these came from Foot Locker. Yeah, matter of fact, they did. Uh, I bought those in the uh, in another pair from Full Locker. Uh, I'm not gonna let these go. I'm gonna hold on to these. Part of the city pack. Uh, Jordan box, size 13. Uh, I think it's a Jordan three. Yes, it is. All right, so seeing this uh, hang tag, I think this there is a little bit of uh, aging on the other uh, hang tag. These are the Katrina threes, but I think they are calling them the all-star threes. I got these from Foot Locker on release date, uh, which was 5-2018. So... These, these will stand with me too. Uh, I don't know, but if I check them out, they might, uh, they might go. They might go, but for the most part, they stand with me, so. Uh, another Jordan box, uh, size 13. I think these are the all-star uh, sixes, yeah. So these are the all-star sixes. I end up getting these for about 144 bucks off footlocker.com. Uh, I've had these since I think 2017. There's quite a bit of weight on these joints. These, these is hard. Um, I'm really not sure if I'm going to hold on to them or if I'm going to sell them. But, uh, you know what I mean? These are dope. Specialized Jordan box. Quite a bit of dust on the vicinity in the closet. Uh, size 13. Retail is 225. So I think these are. I caught these at a Nike. Caught these on a restock, to be honest with you. These are the uh, Michigan 12s. You know what I mean? With the. Yeah. Michigan 12s with the uh, Michigan logo on the tongue. I think Jumpman on the other side. Uh, and some dust on these. Uh, these I will be holding on to. Uh, I'm going to check the price on them anyway, though. If they are going for quite a bit, I'll uh, possibly let them go. But these are the Michigan 12s. Possibly be, uh, might be letting them go, depending on the price. I mean, they go up for about 300. They might go. On 
to the next. Another Jordan box. These are size 13. I think these are a pair of nines. Yeah. So these are, I think the UNC nines or a blue patent leather. Something to that effect. Yeah. I think they're UNC. So uh, uh, I think I grabbed these off the uh, off the app from Foot Locker. So uh, yeah, these I'm, I'm probably gonna hold on to these. I just got the other uh, similar pair with the suede uh, recently. So I think I'm gonna hold on to those. Next up. Size 13, regular Jordan box, Nike receipt. This one things was was kind of easy. When you was hitting on Nike, no problem. So these are the uh, UNC uh, Jordan 11 lows. Um, these have a nostalgic uh, kind of moment for me, like a little bit of nostalgia. Um, when I first... Uh, Came back to Florida from New York in about 2001. Uh, this was one of the pairs that my mom bought me from New York. And, you know what I mean? So, uh, quite a bit of time ago. So, I don't have my original pair. But I end up copying myself. These, they're unworn. These aren't going anywhere. They're here with me so I put them on feet. For nostalgic reasons. Next up is the uh, my first pair of Doran Becker Freestyle pair. Bought these from DTLR. I got these on release date online, and these are the uh, Jordan 15 Freestyle joints. Uh, these I'm, I, I'm probably going to keep, like if I check the price and they're uh, doing some kind of numbers, I might let them go, but, uh, I really did, I really do like these, I'm really a fan of the 15s, a lot of people really probably don't like them, but, um, these might, uh, they might go or they might not, but, my first pair of Dorn Becker. Next up, this is uh, the Jordan 18, size 14. These definitely ain't going nowhere. There's a, uh, a bit of nostalgia with this with this pair, too. Um, I don't remember where I bought these from. I got these from Kicks USA. This is my first pair of Kicks from Kicks USA. Uh, I wanted a size 13, but they... Uh, Ran out, sold out of 13, so I ended up getting this 14. Um, another story about these uh, are another shoe that my mom bought me. Um, I think around after the time my father passed. So I got these in uh, Brooklyn in an uh, uh, area called Madison. They got a lot of stores over there. And uh, this uh, Russian guy, or uh, I think he's European, European, he owned the store. The sneaker store and uh i walked in and was like yo what you got in size 13 he brung down like 15 pairs 13 pairs and i pretty much bought all of them right and this was one of them it came in the original uh box it came with a towel and a suede brush and when i uh came back off my vacation these were ruined they got wet and the whole like medial side lateral side whichever side was covered with mold uh i'm probably gonna put a picture up in in here up here somewhere of those but if you want i did a review on this when i first got them so you can go back to that video and you'll see the mold pictures and all that stuff so these aren't going anywhere they're size 14 and uh to the 18 fort blue
Jordan box, size 13. Uh, I think these are my other pair of 15s. So boom, yeah, I I bought these as a little kid in high school uh, for 150. I ended up catching them on uh, Nike.com for around the same price. It's kind of crazy. So um, I end up like copping these because of a. Uh, Again, nostalgia. I had these as a kid in high school, like 10th grade. Um, also, I had seen uh, 21 Savage wearing these in one of his music videos, so I had to double back and grab these because it brought me back. He had, he was rocking them kind of right. You know, because of this uh, this uh, lip right here, they're kind of a, like a Aki-looking shoe, and they're kind of heavy, but, you know, at the time, these were the dopest things out. If you didn't have a pair of these in uh, like 2000, 2001, you would get no play by the girls. None. No play. So, uh, these, holding on to, not selling those. They're safe. Probably see some action very soon. Uh, another Jordan box, uh, size 13. Thank you, receipt. Ah. So these are my mellow twos. These aren't going anywhere. Uh, funny story about these. I, The day of release, I end up getting these and the Travis Scott 4s. I end up selling my Travis Scott 4s for about 400 bucks. Uh, the Monday after they uh, arrived from Nike. So I end up getting this pair for like 80 bucks after uh, selling the other pair. Uh, I don't know if I kind of regret selling that because that sneaker is going for like almost a thousand dollars now, but you know, I got these for 80 bucks, so can't really cry about it. That was my first sneaker flip. So I'm going to be holding on to these. So this is the last uh, two pairs in this stack before we go into the stack closer to the wall. These are uh, the Jordan 13. We're not even going to go through the BS. Jordan 13, size 13. Uh, this is a, a B grade. Uh, hold on, I got someone at the door. It is the wife delivering the food. Yeah, it's okay. So, back to the video. This is a uh, Jordan 13 B grade. Uh, also, a Mellow Mellow 13. This is for his uh, high school that he went to. Uh, these won't be sold. I actually got two pairs of those. One have hit feet already. But if the price goes up in the near future, or whatever, uh, I'll probably sell. Last from this stock before I uh, jump into this uh, food real quick and then get into the other side. Uh, another Jordan 13 Foot Locker receipt. He got games. Uh, I did a video on my He Got Games. You know, this is a shoe that I got from my dad uh, from a store that I just seen that is still open in Brooklyn on Avenue I. In uh, Nostrand Avenue, it's called Sneaker Corner. So they still had. This was a time you could just walk in there and there'll, there'll be kicks there forever. So boom. Um, my dad bought me these uh, a while after the release. Uh, around the time the movie He Got Game came out. Afterwards, I went back and grabbed these original pair because of uh, uh, Denzel Washington. So played my high school, um, junior high school ball in these kicks. They're my favorite because my dad bought me these. Um, these won't be sold. This is the second pair. I got a, a size 14, so I won't be letting these go. Uh, it is what it is. So, we're going to take a brief uh, intermission real quick. And uh, I got to put the sneakers that I am uh, keeping back up in the closet. 
and then move the other stacks that I haven't done reviews on that I don't even know what's in these Nike boxes or other boxes and we'll get to those we're gonna see if we're gonna keep some of those we're gonna sell some of those whatever it is you know but right, if you can't do with the eggs sausage balls and a biscuit you know me I'm gonna dig into that real quick so again it's your boy Ox Paul the Sneaker Lord please stay tuned don't go nowhere don't go nowhere We're getting into the first unboxings you know what I mean? these are sneakers that I don't even know I uh, bought these uh, quite some time ago I don't even remember what the hell they are so we gonna see these at the first together all right first box uh, smart box might be keeping these boxes because uh, I'll be selling a bunch of shoes smell me be selling a bunch of shoes and I'll be losing bread because when I go to the UPS store, they sell me these boxes. And I be having a million boxes. Uh -huh. uh, damn. Damn, this was 20% off a uh, East Bay purchase. And due to I didn't unbox the shoe, uh, this is no longer good uh, East Bay and Champ they saying thank you and they gave me another uh, uh, another 20% off and these is no good neither such is life receipt Nike box I'm gonna hold on to that box. Uh, these are size 14. Uh, this comes with a card of some sort. So, card. Ah! These are the uh, Rucker Park. Oh, dropped the blooper. Uh, these are the Rock Rucker Park uh, 89 flights. So again, this is a personal pair. These won't be sold. You know what I mean, I rock these. I think that's the zip code for Rucker Park on the back. Dope. I ended up catching these for a mean sale. Mean sale. Uh, I got it for sixty-eight bucks. Or yeah, sixty-eight twenty. That's uh, crazy. Mean discount. I need that too. Alright, boom. Jordan box. Nice white box. Uh, size 14. These are actually a double up. I think I just did a review on these the other day. I bought these off eBay. Uh, I have a size 13 that I caught from Foot Locker. And uh, like I said, I wanted to uh, see which pair um, fits more comfortably. Because I, um, so I've been having like sizing issues with certain Jordans. So as you see, some pairs are 14, some pairs are 13, and also a lot of the 14 pairs prior to now are because I wanted the shoe and didn't care. Like I just needed that shoe, so I got me a 14. Didn't matter. Never, I never go a size down. Never go 12 and a half. None of that. Um. Always go a size up. So these are my size 12. Uh, these are the stone blues. So uh, like I said, I'm gonna try on the 13 and the 14. See which will fit better. Boom. Probably gonna go with the 14. The uh, Flint 13s. Uh, none of the above. These are some hairs. I don't know which hairs because I got both pairs. I got sixes and the sevens, so we don't know which pair it is. <clears throat> Carrot on the box, size 14. So these are the sevens. So these are my personal pair 
uh, size 14 with the uh, with the with the this is not really a uh, uh, rabbit hair I think this is like a, a, a cow or a goat or something like that but these are dope I like these I end up getting these for a discount I think about 170 bucks off Nike so these ain't going nowhere Little white box. Another carrot. Size 14. So these will be the uh, sixes. Jordan sixes. Got these on release date. Retail. Uh, personal pair. These won't be sold. But uh, didn't do a review for them, so uh, it's probably a little review. You know what I mean? This uh, these were uh, a must-have for me because I didn't cop the original uh sevens that came out, and these are the same uh, design. You know what I mean? You seen the seven two point that was over there, but these are dope. Uh, very happy to grab these. Very, very happy to grab these. Like I said, this is size 14, my personal pair. So, man, I'm looking forward to having these on feet. Make sure you watch, you uh, check out my Instagram to see when I do be flossing my kicks. Ox Hope, the Sneaker Lord, uh, size 14, Red Box. So these are probably the all-star. Nope. Damn. I thought these are all-star threes. Um Toro 14s. So again, I did not do a review on these yet. Uh, so let's do this unboxing slash uh review at the same time. So as you see, these are the 2020 pair of uh Toro 14s. I'm I really do like 14s. I've been buying a lot more 14s. So it's kind of crazy. These won't be sold. These are my personal pair. Uh end up catching these on release day. Uh wasn't a real hard cop, but it was it, you know I had to get up early get them, but I got them. Uh shout out to Nike. Love you guys when you guys let us uh cop manually. Silver box. Bing. Oh, they got a cut in my box. And, and these are the Flint 13s. Uh, I got these on the shock drop. These are size 14. These are my personal pair. Uh, I might have, uh, I could have probably got away with a 13 on these, but, uh, these are very uh uh nostalgic pair for me again um around the same time when the uh he got games came out these dropped same year a uh, couple of the shorties in my uh junior high school at uh marine park had these you know what i mean these were dope um i didn't grab them because you know my father bought me the he got games so but i got these now Shout out to the shorties that had these, them dime brizzles, back in the dizzle, that had dizzles. You know what I mean? Shout out to y'all. Y'all know who y'all are. Um, these are my personal pair of the uh, Flint 13s. Big ups to Nike. Let me hit on the shit out drop. This is a Jordan, uh, I don't know. So this could be a 9, uh, nope, this is a Jordan 11 low, size 14. So these are probably the bread, uh, bread 11 low. White bread. Uh, yep, so I cop these on a restock. From uh, Nike.com, 
end up catching these. I missed them release date. They end up selling out on me. So I caught a size 14 on the restock. These are the best of both worlds. You've got you've got Bread 11, you got Concord up on top, and Bread 11 on bottom. So these are the best of both worlds. They call these uh nickname the white breads. Feel me? So I'm glad to have these in the collection. These will be touching feet soon. Personal pair. Won't be letting these go. This nigga Lizard, and we are back. We are back. So we are still at it. Uh, we're at like the last stack of shoes before I go into the wall over there. So um, again, we're doing kind of like a, a collection cop video slash unboxings from shoes that I didn't um, unbox or whatever so boom this is a recent pickup these are uh, a pair of Jordans that uh, uh, they just hit me with and was like yo you could cop so I cop so bing bing bada bing this box is getting crazy over here all right, Jordan box, looking kind of wavy. So, these are the mid versions of the Jordan bread, AKA the band ones, mid version. These are not the OG high. Uh, if they do release the OG high, I'll be online for like three pairs, need them. But uh, these were uh, a member early exclusive. They uh, hit me in my DM. It was like, yo, you, you uh, are first to cop. So I went ahead and pulled the trigger. Uh, really don't do too many mids, but they're bred. So, you know what I mean? If I want to fake the funk and then, you know, had the jeans right here, you wouldn't even know they weren't uh, breads. You know, the I mean... OG highs, you'll know you'll stay there. OG highs, but I probably won't even need the cap because they'll release them and I get them. So these are the Jordan Band One mids. Shout out to Nike for the member exclusive early cop joints. These are a size 14. These on uh. Nike sneakers app on release date wasn't I'm not really too much of a fan of the uh, low version of these shoes but I end up buying them uh, they will be sold uh, probably gonna put them on StockX tonight uh, these are I don't remember the name of these but they're uh, a dunk so like I said I'm not really too fond of the low dunks like I'm more of the high dunks I, I love those but uh these are dope if they were high they wouldn't be going anywhere like that would be a, a mean uh on feet especially with this purple joint get me like a uh football jersey or something to go with these in there but uh yeah these are going up for sale dope uh nike dunk the colorway is dope the, the material is dope like I'm loving the material, but like I said, I'm not uh, into the uh, lows. So, okay. love those Jordan 11. Shout out to my guy. This is a, a second pair that I cop. I ended up copping wifey a pair of these too. So, boom. Uh, Jordan 11 Jubilees. So this is my uh, second pair. Uh, these will be going up for sale too. Our Lucky Greens. Lucky Greens. Uh, I also have uh, doubles of this. So one of them is probably going to go up for sale. I'm going to hold on to one. 
personal pair. Different pair. Uh, I end up buying like uh, three pairs of these. So I'm about to sell two of them. These are your uh, Hyper Royal with the black tops uh, 13s. I actually have the uh, reverse color with the white. Dope. So like I said, I ended up copping like three pairs of these, so I'm about to sell two pairs of these. Foot Locker. Uh, flight Box. And these are... Okay. The uh, Fire Red 4s. Um, I actually have four pairs of Fire Red 4s. So I got three size 13s and a size 14 that I bought from Dick Sporting Goods. So uh, two out of the three of the 13s will be sold, will definitely be sold. So even if I make a 20 or 30, $40 profit, whatever like that, it is what it is. I'll keep one on ice. And uh, like I said, I got the 14. I put those on feet already. I wore them uh, to my trip to New York. That vlog is coming. ASAP and see what's for sale what is going up for sale I have so many shoes as you guys see I gotta start um, offloading a bit of pairs just to have room until I move into the bigger place so in a few months like a month or month and a half I'll be moving into the new place so it's all good uh, some of these kicks will probably go as a down payment for those for that new place so anyway it's your boy Oxpo the Sneaker Lord please hit that button down below subscribe to the channel if you ain't already subscribed hit that like button share this video you know what I mean so again you know what I mean thank you for watching I love you guys you know what I mean stay tuned we're trying to build the channel we're trying to get the the um get to a hundred subscribers then to a thousand subscribers and then to wherever we gonna go so please you know spread the word man tell a friend about the channel if you like this heat hit that notification button down in the corner so you instantly notify when I drop this heat I got a bunch of videos coming for y'all um if you are interested in any pairs of shoes that you see in this video bang my line on on hit my DM on the uh, Instagram, and uh, I get them out to you. We'll see what we can do. Feel me? All right, it's your boy Oxpo the Sneaker Lord, and I'm out of here.